Well, folks, we've got about uh, <clears throat> sustained winds of about 40 miles per hour, gusting to 60. Let's see how the um, see how the greenhouse is holding up. I tell you it's lovely in here let's push this in it'll push back out when the wind dies it just pops right back out but right now oh gosh Whew. it's done a job Plastics holding up. Not fun at all. Some little damage there. But I'm pretty sure we can fix it. Got to wait for the wind to die down. We try to do our best to um, uh, protect things from the wind out here because it's all you know, wind's always blowing, sometimes stronger than others. But these hay bales, for instance, I have not done anything with these hay bales. We stacked them there a while back, and these hay bales are 80 pounds each. They're three string bales, and like I said, they were stacked right there. The wind has tossed them. That's got to be 15 feet for that one. 
the wind has tossed these things several feet. So you get an idea how strong the winds get out here. I'm thankful that this is held up nicely against the wind. It's nice, uh, like it should. And uh, most other things seem to be doing okay, you know, against the wind, but man. Out here, it's important to batten down all the hatches and uh, just make sure anything that you don't want to lose is out of the wind. Okay, end of the day. I've been working on this most of the day. I, I think I got it fixed enough for it to hold up against the wind. Um, I, uh, I, I had some leftover um, top rail from chain link fence top rail that I had bought, you know, a couple of years ago when we built Buzz for the solar uh, panel rack setup. And I, I didn't realize I had this much sitting around, but I do. And I used it as a brace, you know, a wind brace. And then I've got another piece of pipe uh, that's holding it back, supporting it, and it rests right against the shouse. This here just allows it to move back and forth through there in case it needs to. Then I've got that braced up there on the end. That's so bent that I couldn't unbend it without taking everything apart. And I don't want to do that. So I still need to get a four, uh, I still need to get a 45 degree angle brace to go right there and one on the other end as well. Because one thing I noticed is that uh, when the wind pushed stuff in, it had a tendency as it caved in, it had a tendency to, to pull this whole thing in. And uh, so if I put a brace there, it should keep it strong. Then I inserted another two pieces of um, top rail. And I tied a rope to those to sort, of, to sort of tie it to this brace. I don't like it, but I mean, I think temporarily it'll work. Um, the, the, the issue is, is that um, when this pushes in, when, this, when the wind pushes this in, this part bends upward and was pulling uh, the staples out of that board I had here that was, you know, with the two support posts that were just floating here. And I thought, well, that's worthless. I'm going to pull all that out because they didn't really do anything. So I didn't want to pull those out because I didn't want to damage plastic trying to pull staples out up there. So I'll just leave it for now. But the posts are gone and I can rely on these two and that should be fine. So anyway, this uh, set of top rail should keep the cattle panel from wanting to lift up and pull out of the staples over here. And this should keep it from pushing in. So I'm hoping, you know, between the two of those that uh, we've got enough strength here in case another 70 mile per hour wind comes up. I guess I can't complain, you know, for for cattle panel or hog panel or whatever this is. A 70 mile per hour wind, I, I, you know, it got damaged, but it held so i guess i can't complain but uh i'm i'm getting a feel for you know how things need to be built out here to withstand the wind i have a feeling that if i had just made a greenhouse out of a hog panel that just looped it just like like a horseshoe shape that it would have held up better than being pushed against this and being forced in and bent and all that kind of stuff it might have had more give that way but anyway shelves are fixed and uh, now, uh, you know, it's, it's past the time of planting, but I've got to get some planting done. So it's time to start filling this thing with some earth. Um, I think I want to get some um, cinder block or something to put down here and here so I can make beds inside of here and fill them. And uh, what else do I want to do? Um, I think if I can, if it's easy enough to get and, and stick in here, I want to get some rock and put it in the middle uh, in the walkway because uh, the soils are pretty cold here. And the idea, whole idea of a greenhouse is having things warm enough where you can still grow stuff. But what the rocks, I hope, will do is provide enough thermal mass where during the day they'll heat up and then at night they'll give off a little bit of heat. I won't be able to do the whole floor because, you know, I want to I want to plant some things in here, or at least put beds here. So, uh, but I'll at least uh, I'll see about doing the floor. We'll see. Uh, I do want to get some wood chips in here. That'll help with uh, moisture retention. 
and uh, increasing humidity in here and stuff like that. So there it is. It's a mess. Got to get it cleaned up and get the thing filled with dirt. But anyway, uh, I'm glad it's over and I guess we'll see what happens in the next big wind. Oh.